Hello and greetings from Eastern Europe, my name is called BRHD and today I collected all the best upcoming action RPG hack and slash games. Many of them are in early access by now, so if you're feeling rich and generous, you'll be able to try them right now, although I recommend never paying real money for a game that's not fully released. I will talk more about that later, let's roll. Last Epoch. Game is set for a full release only in April of the year 2020, but early access is already available. Last Epoch is an action RPG game developed by independent studio 11th Hour Games. Game was produced for PC and its creation was possible thanks to a successful crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter. Here you can choose one of the five basic character classes – Rogue, Mage, Sentinel, Acolyte and Primalist. Every basic class can choose from three master classes. An example, an Acolyte can become Lich, Warlock or Necromancer, and Sentinel can become Forge Guard, Void Knight or Paladin. So 15 different classes awaits you, but I would suggest them to add more. An example, Eastern European Witcher with 3 mastery classes, Potato Salad Wizard, <laughs> Druid of Marinated Hearing, <laughs> and of course Vodka Bender. <laughs> I've put a lot of effort by drawing this concept art, so I have a high hopes that developers will consider adding this to their game. Cheapest way to play and later get finished game is to buy it for 30 euros. I don't know, it seems a lot for a game in beta version, especially after reading the comments stating that game feels far from finished, but if the last epoch lives up to its expectations, then for a full game this price is really okay. Lost Ark for three years, game has been developed in secret by Tripod Studios and its team of 150 employees to be released exclusively on the Korean market. Lost Ark runs on Unreal Engine 3 and features extremely spectacular artwork whose quality is far superior to what we've been used to see in the classic hack and slash games. The problem is, as I mentioned before, game is available only in Korea and only in Korean. I should probably say that it's a South Korea. I'm talking about the weak one, the one without nuclear weapons and labor camps. So instead of enriching uranium, they spend their creativity in other places. Sadly, there are no news when the English version will come out, only the talks that it will happen sooner or later. Better news are for those who can read and understand Russian, because for some reason Koreans decide to make first foreign released in Russia. You can sign up for the better already. Sadly, last time I have spoken Russian was some 50 years ago, and by now I'm too rusty to play anything in that language in any way. When the official announcement of the game's English version will be released, I will definitely share this information with you as quickly as I can. And I should mention that there is an official English language mod, but it's considered malware by the developers, so if after spending hundreds of hours on your shiny new character, you'll get banned, you can blame only yourself. So I suggest to wait, there's a plenty of other games to play right now. Walton, lots of mayhem. Walton is really good looking game. It's also really good game. At least it could be one if developers finished it one day. Remember when I said something about never buying games that are in early access? Along with Exanima, other infamous RPG that possibly will never leave early access stage, Walton's early access started in 2016 and it's still in there. So people started to wonder. I have a bad feeling about this. Something isn't right. This can't be good. And it probably isn't, so a shitstorm of negative comments was unleashed on Steam. It's really rare to see mostly negative comments on any game, so it's probably well deserved. But anyway, let's be positive and hope that Walton will be finished someday. Maybe in the year 2028 along with Diablo 4. Some sources like website GamePressure.com even say that Walton will be released in 2019. Maybe they know something we don't, but I have my doubts. In the name of truth, I should say that developers often update their early access game with minor things, tweaks of one thing or another, but it's not the same as full release. But anyway, game looks and plays great. I will definitely be one of the first ones who will buy the full version because game looks original. You fight really cool looking monsters, it has great skill tree, battle system and gorgeous graphics. All the ingredients for an amazing Shaltiborshe is here, so let's hope that great chefs from the Walsan studio will not not turn us down. Pagan Online 
Here you walk with the help of a keyboard by using WASD keys and that might be a problem for a hardened action RPG fans, but don't be quick to judge, this system actually works great. Game is in early access and by now it seems that more than half of a game is in place. Though do not expect anything like fully polished endgame. Leveling experience is here, but the endgame is not. Actually, let's compare early access with vodka. What did you expect that? Would you ever buy vodka which has no alcohol? Or with slight brownish color? Or the one that smells funny? Or vodka in plastic bag? Well, according to early access, this vodka is still vodka. It's drinkable and maybe later it will become the greatest vodka you have ever tasted and you could drink it as much as you want without any health problems and without hangover either. Yeah, someday. Maybe. Maybe not, but now you have to pay the same price for brownish colored funny smelling liquid in a plastic bag. That's what early access is my friends. Do not confuse it with support on Kickstarter, where you are giving money with hopes to get a great game someday. Finished game. So, Pagan Online is a bit different from other early access games, here you will find tons of missions, a bit of campaign and lots of builds to explore. Some say that even now Pagan Online can offer about 100 hours of playtime. The downside is that game is always online. For me it doesn't even matter because I am online wherever I go. We have a great internet in Lithuania, but in other countries it can be a problem. You know what's great in this game? No loot boxes, no microtransactions. Everything is is obtainable by playing the game. If you are tired from Grim Dawn, Path of Exile, Diablo 3, you'll have a great game here to wait for. Torchlight Frontiers at last, something that's not in the early access. Also, it seems that Frontiers will be not available in Steam, at least at the very beginning. I have heard about Frontiers before, but only when I started to make this video I realized that this is not a simple hack and slash RPG like Torchlight 1 and 2, but instead of a single player or co-op experience, Torchlight Frontiers is a persistent shared world where hundreds and thousands of players can meet, play, hunt for gear, level their characters, drink vodka, eat the delicious potato salad and of course together they can do amazing raping and pillaging. So basically it's a torchlight 3 and at the same time it's an MMO. I can already feel the sadness of my viewers who like me enjoy playing alone and not with the friends, basically because we have no friends. But anyway, if you're okay with the MMO fact then I must inform you that the game will be free. And another thing, you can sign up for alpha test right now and hope to get the key. Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Prophecy while the first part of a game named Marta wasn't a success story, in Metacritic.com game has user score of 6.6, .6, but this was probably enough to be a profitable game. So the second part is in development right now. This is a standalone expansion, you don't have to have previous part to play it, but if you have the game, your old character will be transferred from Marta to Prophecy. So let's talk about new things. Here you will get a new class, Attack Adept Inquisitor, who can summon and enhance units battles, also new campaign, new enemy races, new settings, redesigned loot system, co-op campaign mode, much faster action RPG focused gameplay and new items. I hope for a vodka bottle sniper rifle to be included. Yes, this is my concept art. Aether Aether is an action RPG built around exceptional combat and interesting challenges set within mythological Norse world. When I've heard the music and saw the dark setting of this game, I was immediately impressed. Like farts can take your breath away, music of Aether totally took my hearing, in a good sense of course. Looks like this pixel art game is truly an art. Just look at those colors and lighting. Game is dark and gloomy and this is one of the best things about any game nowadays. When game like colorful Fortnite dictates the fashion of other games and everyone tries to be as colorful as possible. Today if you are not unicorns and rainbows, it's already a good thing. Aether looks really promising, I can't wait for it. That's it, thank you for watching, if you liked my video please press that like and subscribe buttons for more videos like that and if you want to help support my videos, you can do that via Patreon platform, you will find the link in the description below. Have a nice day, bye.